السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Noun phrases modification Noun phrase pre-modification We have pre-modification and post-modification A modifier can be defined as a word or a group of words that precedes, that comes before or follows after a head noun In English, we have adjectives, or, sorry, adjective phrases ED and ING participle and nouns that function as pre-modifiers. Let us see first adjective phrases as pre-modifier. An adjective phrase is a group of words that does the function of an adjective in a sentence. That means if you have an adjective and you have an adjective phrase, they are the same concerning their function. The adjective phrase that comes before the head is called, linguistically speaking, attributive adjective because it attributes a quality to or describes the head. So these are the, the adjective phrases that come before the head noun in a sentence. Examples, a faithful pit, a nice house. Adjective phrases might have these forms. First, intensifier plus adjective. Second, adjective plus adjective. Intensifier plus adjective. We have in the example, she is a very happy girl. So very, as we saw before, is an intensifier plus an adjective. So this is an adjective phrase. A very happy girl. And girl is the head or the head noun in the sentence. He was a little excited, again a little is an intensi uh, intensifier, and little is an adjective. I ate a tasty, healthy meal. So we have tasty, adjective, healthy, adjective. So this is one of the forms of the adjective phrase. They are nice and kind people. Nice and kind. The participle as a pre-modifier. A participle is a form of a verb that ends in ing in the present tense and in ed in the past tense. Both ing and ed function as pre-modifiers of nouns. Progressive and present participle indicate an ongoing or temporary action of the head or the head in the sentence the coming success so this is an ongoing the coming success or temporary action the flying fly flying ing the working man working ing progressive past participle indicates a completed or passive action or a permanent state example a faded dream. So here we have faded describes an action that has already happened. So this is past participle, ed, faded dream. A broken glass, passive, broken. A complicated exercise, a permanent state, because naturally this exercise we are talking about here, for example, is of a, of a complicated nature. Nouns as pre-modifiers. A noun can pre-modify another noun, and both make up a compound noun. For example, we have a post office. So post is a noun. Office by itself again is a noun. So post noun plus noun is a compound noun. So this post modifies the, uh, this uh, office. The same thing goes for a computer game. So computer, for example, is a noun and game is a noun. So computer game is a compound, no uh, compound noun. Noun phrase post modification. A post modifier, again, is a word or group of words that follow or follows the head. It takes the following forms. The form of prepositional phrase, as in the example, the way to success. So again, we have two prepositions. Success. To success. Prepositional phrase. The dog on the carpet. Again, on the carpet. Prepositional phrase. Adjective phrase is a second 
4. The students present. The man responsible. A post-modifying adjective phrase is known also as postposed, this is another name, or postpositive, this is a third name. So they are all the same thing, which is in fact a reduced relative clause. So all of these things are just a reduced uh, relative clause. Look here again. The students present in its origin form or its original form was the students who are present. Again, the men responsible, the original form of this one was the men who are responsible. Relative clause. We have two main types, finite clauses and non-finite clauses. Finite clauses come in the following form. For example, students who have no previous experience. Okay, the whole thing from who to the end is a finite clause. Non-finite clauses, we have to pay attention here because we have two infinitive clause in the example. The next flight to arrive, ing clause, the girl speaking fluently, ed clause, the dish broken during the party. Ed means participle. It can be an or it can be played ed in the end. Two infinitive clause. ING clause and ED clause are called non-finite clauses and they can also act as a post as a post modifiers of noun phrases.